Hello video editors. Welcome to Solly Tutorials. And welcome to Filmora 12 Beta all new features and updates. In this video I will only show you all the new features and updates of Filmora 12 that have come in Filmora 12. So let's begin. The first update that I share with you is that you can move the preview screen or player position from this location to another location. Now you can move and use it as a player. You can also minimize it. The next feature I'll show you is quick 3D text. With the help of this feature, you can create your own beautiful 3D animated titles within seconds. Here you will find many 3D text designs. You can edit and customize it as per your wish. You just need internet to download and use it. Apart from this, you can also apply 3D animation on these titles as you wish. All of these 3D titles designs and 3D animations are free. I told you earlier that in this video I will only show you the features and updates. If you want to see Filmora 12 complete video editing tutorial and a full course, you can watch Filmora 12 complete video editing tutorial free on my channel. Apart from this, Filmora has also added cloud media here. All these features I have explained in Filmora 12 complete video editing tutorial. The adjustment layer feature is also new in Filmora 12. In the next tutorial I will explain this too. And let me explain in detail how it works. And how can you put it to use. I am just going to update you with new updates in this video. Which I consider mandatory. Another great update has come and that is the layouts. Here you can see many layouts. It has default layout, organic layout, timeline, short video layout, classic layout, and dual layout options. You can choose whichever layout mode you like or find useful. I really like this feature. Also, here you can see the keyboard shortcuts option. Which was also not present here before. But now you can easily see all keyboard shortcuts here. Hope you guys will also enjoy watching this feature here. Apart from this another tool is also added here. And it is called Audio Stretch Tool. And the inclusion of this tool here was very important. And now Fillmore added it to the toolbar. Tabs at the top have also changed a bit. And that earlier Filmora versions had the Elements tab here. And now Filmora renamed this tab. And named it Stickers. And this tab contains the same things that were previously in the Elements tab. Another tab was also created by Filmora. And they named it Templates. And they have removed the Split Screen tab from here. In it you will find Templates and Split Screen. Both these tabs are created with this new update. Also if you go to the Effects tab, there are quite a few changes here as well which I will tell you in the upcoming tutorials. And it has many new effects as well. The Transitions tab doesn't see any significant changes. However, Filmora has added some new professional transitions. I also go to the Titles tab. There are many new titles here this time. Which I like very much. Nice title designs added by Filmora. The Audio tab has been updated. This time they have changed its look, which you can see. Film Stock section has also been added to the Stock Media tab and the sample colors are transferred here by Filmora. Another update that I'm going to share with you is the histogram. A histogram is a graph that displays the luminance and tones of a video or image. Most commonly, histograms display the shadows and highlights of an image. Histogram that displays the footage's levels of red, green and blue tones. Another feature that I'm going to show you is, Smart Cutout. Here the Smart Cutout feature is really appreciated. And this feature surprised me the most. And it works like a charm. If you have anything or any object in the video, and you want to remove its background. So this tool is very helpful for you. I will bring a video tutorial on this as well. Which you will like very much. You will also find this tool in the iTools section within the video tab. Along with this, in this section you will also find tools like motion tracking, stabilization, and lens correction. In animation section you will find preset animation and preset motions legacy animations. There is also a new update in the mask section, which will surprise you. And that is the draw mask tool. With this you can draw any object and transparent its background. And you can also invert the mask. 
Now this tool gives you all the options in your hands to create custom masks. In the basic section you will find the option of Transform tab, Drop Shadow tab, and Auto Enhance tab. Now with this update they also brought keyframe animation here in Transform tab. I will also explain this to you in the next tutorial. How does this keyframe animation work? In Color tab you will find all presets and basic colors tabs. Apart from this, you can also see the HSL and Curves sections here. And also for Speed Filmora has created a tab here. In which Uniform Speed and Speed Ramping sections are also present. So friends these were all new features and all new updates of Filmora 12 beta, which I showed you. Hope you like these updates and these features. See you again with a new awesome video. Bye.